It is so easy. It is so fabulous. I mean, you can wear it so many different ways. You can bring it up like this. You could fold it down and it becomes a turtleneck. You can take it and you can unzip it just a bit and you almost just have a collared piece. You can unzip it more and you have a beautiful V-neck or you can unzip it all the way and wear it open. Hello, this is versatility. So it's on sale. This should be $186. <clears throat> like I said, for literally several different sweaters in one, it's $153.98. You need this. It's your fall coat. It's your car coat. It's the coat that you wear when you're inside and you're cold. You'll wear it instead of a blazer to work and you'll wear it, you know, if you're in a climate where you don't need a winter coat, even through January, February, and March. And even in the the climates that you do need a winter coat, you put the winter coat over top of it when you're outside. And when you get inside, you're warm and cozy. It is the final order of the year. This is one of the best gifts ever. It's hard to pick a hot pick, which is a star, when you have so many fabulous Aaron sweaters. We got this one going. So this is parsnip. So if you want that kind of neutral color, this is the way to go. But when you come in close, you notice that the yarns are marled. So there's different colors in it. So it's going to go with all shades of beiges and creams and literally everything. We know that the hottest boot and shoe right now is anything in the cream category. So go there. Next, we have it in ultramarine. That is your beautiful blue. So you're doing something that is a little bit brighter than a navy. But if you guys get in close, oh my gosh, I think I might have put a kitty hair on that. You know, we've got a lot of cats at my house right now and I am happy. Um, look at ultramarine. It's like charcoal and bright blue mixed together. Okay, are you ready to lose your heart? Come in close at Peacock. So Peacock is like gray and teal mixed together. You, This is expensive yarn. It's merino wool. Isn't that gorgeous? That is by far the most popular, and there's only 200 left, and it's the only order of the year. If we see it again, I don't know if it would be in in time for St. Patrick's Day. It would probably be a year away, and this is for anybody that loves great fashion, loves to be cozy. This is the Mulberry, which is absolutely beautiful. It's shades of purple mixed together, only 150. We have it in charcoal. Now this almost like gets me a little misty eyed because it's very similar to my very first Erin Craft sweater that I still have that is 33 years old. Yeah, I still do. And then last but not least, we have meadow green. So look at just a few of the 40 shades of green in that gorgeous meadow green. Um, Emma Cooney is joining us. Emma, this is flying as we know it would. It's the return of a favorite. It's a hot yeah. pick. And I have to say, I think it's the most versatile and maybe one of the most yeah. flattering sweaters you've ever done because there are so many different ways to wear it. Yeah, absolutely. I love this piece, you know, especially in the spring and now in the autumn. It's a real transitional piece that you could actually wear, you know, as a little jacket. Um, and then coming into the winter, it can easily be worn with a bigger uh, coat over uh, it. And the versatility is fantastic. And it's really all about that wonderful neck. Um, so many ways to wear it. Um, so if we just take a look at that neck, you can see here that we have um, two layers of wool and it's that double layer that gives it that really wonderful effect so if you zip that up you can have a funnel neck style um, and that double layer really holds it up lovely and cozy around the neck no need for your scarf you're all um, you know kept warm with that uh, neck or we can fold it over and have that lovely um, uh, almost like a, a rollover cowl neck effect which I love as well you know if you don't if you want to just keep it away from the face a little bit it mightn't be that cold or then wearing it um open so and of course no matter what way you wear it you're always getting the effect of the beautiful iron stitches which we have on the outside and on the inside so no matter what way it's worn you're not losing that um lovely effect of the iron stitches I mean, here's the thing. I mean, Emma, you're brilliant. I mean, I know Molly's smiling from heaven. Like her business that she was passionate about it is now putting sweaters on people around the world. If you were like, oh, I really wish I had a turtleneck sweater. There's Molly. Yeah. Hi, Molly. You have it. 
Um, if you wanted to have this really fashionable funnel neck that looks like something a model is wearing in a photo shoot of New York City because it's New York Fashion Week, you got it. If you just want to unzip it and wear it so that you do have, hello Jane, unzip. You just want to even like pop the collar for something fabulous. You got that going. If you want it just a little bit more classic, so I got a little collared sweater. Now we're up to sweater number four. Or if you just want to wear it open. And I think the fact that it zips, which is by the way hard to do in knitwear, is what makes it such a great alternative to a jacket. But you know, throw it over a Susan Graver liquid knit dress and wear it to the office with, with boots and you look fabulous. I'd love to take you through colors and update you what's happening because we are busy. One of the most popular items in the show. We've had 700 ordered. It's the final order of the year. When sizes sell out, because I just saw one of our sizes was gray, which means you can't even do a waitlist order. We're not going to see it again until 2024, and we probably won't see it on sale. Our QVC price is $186. Parsnip is almost gone in extra, extra small, but there's only 300 to go around. And again, I love the fact that you give us this jewelry zipper pull, which is the symbol of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We also have it for you in our ultramarine, but when you get close, you see, ooh, how cool. It's actually several colors in one. So this will get, go great with black, with gray, with blues, with denim. Most popular, most limited is our peacock, which is actually twisted with a heathered gray. Whoa, so like it's not only versatile because of the way that you can wear it different ways, fashion wise on your body, but even the colors give you versatility. But if you want the peacock, 150 left for the year. Charcoal, let's bring him forward, gone in the smaller sizes. We only have 100 left to go around. That's maybe the best charcoal ever. I'm in the mulberry, which is to me always a very like Celtic princess, Book of Kells kind of feel. Only 150, and you know you want green if you're buying an Irish sweater. So this is meadow green. It's wildly popular, but there's only 150 left. So Emma, you talked about the style, and we talked earlier about the, you know, the the royal feeling of merino wool. But mm -hmm. how about these yarns that are twisted together? And by the way, if you yep. ever want to stop designing knitwear, you can become an Irish model because you look oh. gorgeous in these shots, girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, we had such a great day at the National Irish Stud that day. Um, it really is a special memory. But Aww. yeah, the yarn Aww. that's used in these um, sweaters is actually a marled yarn. So that yarn has actually been created um, with two complementing colours and a high and a low. And when the garment is knitted with a marled yarn, you get that lovely um, fleck throughout, a lovely texture. So for for example, here in the in the parsnip, we have a, a lighter cream and a darker um, beige, and it really gives beautiful kind of texture throughout uh, the garment. So it's a it's a wonderful way to um, introduce that kind of complementing colours uh, into a garment by using that type of yeah. yarn. And you know, I'm thinking. I know your football is a little different than our football, Emma. But I'm thinking football <laughs> games and yeah. bonfires and pumpkin picking. Of course, we can thank the Irish because they gave us the tradition of the pumpkin and the jack o' lantern. And of course, um, the ancient druids brought us the whole thought about dressing up on All Hallows Eve. So, like, thank you for Halloween. Irish, love that. Uh, but I mean, this is what you wear to maybe a friend's house who's inviting you over or walking into a relative's um, family room for Thanksgiving when you're spending a couple days. I mean, it is awesome. I love, love, love the way Rebecca has paired it over a printed top. I love how on Brenda, she's chosen all gorgeous solids. Like this looks so rich, doesn't it, Emma? And yet it also yeah. tells a story because Every single mm -hmm. one of these traditional cables tell a story, but you guys put it together in such a modern way. Exactly. We've used some beautiful stitches um, in this sweater. Um, one of the most traditional stitches, of course, is that lovely um, cable stitch that you see running down along the front of the sweater. Um, and to add to that depth and texture behind the cable stitch, we've used a lovely basket stitch. So that really makes the cables um, pop out. And what I, something else that I love that we've done here is um, we've introduced the honeycomb stitch which which represents the hard-working honeybee uh, and we've used that on the cuff 
on the um, waistband on the bottom and on the neck. So it's really pulling together the whole garment by having that matching stitching um, on the, the neck cuff and the, the waistband. And these wonderful integrated pockets, quite generous, but not imposing at all. They're stitched on the inside so that it doesn't create any bulk. And with those integrated pockets, again, you're, you almost don't notice them. You're not losing the effect of those lovely cable stitches running down at uh, the front of the garment. So a fantastic use of the iron stitches in this garment. Yeah, really, I mean, it tells a story. It's so wonderful to have a piece of clothing that like fine jewelry, you will pass down from generation to generation. My girls are now wearing some of the sweaters that I bought myself years ago. My niece has in her collection a sweater that my my her mom brought for her grandmother. I mean, and yet this one is so modern. And I think if you're just going to go out and get yourself a little like bomber jacket for fall, don't get this because yeah. it is made with love in Ireland. You can find cable sweaters that are made around the world but they should all be on your body in Merino Woolen Island. I'd love to take everybody through the colors one more time. This is the final order of the year and we're losing the price and we're losing the five easy payments, which brings this home at a dollar a day at the end of the day. And in this show, we've had how many bra ordered? Nearly a thousand. That's about half our quantity and it's the final order of the year in Parsnip, in Ultramarine, Don't Wait on Peacock, Four Dozen Left, How About That Charcoal, fewer than 100. I'm in the mulberry. I'll keep it on for the rest of the show. And that gorgeous green, meadow green, um, half gone in your cart. Make sure you complete your order because if you don't, you're going to miss out on this beautiful sweater. Emma, I know we're going to have a lot more fun with you. So <laughs> drink lots of coffee. I know it's very early or maybe really <laughs> late in Ireland right now uh, as you're joining Thank us you, live Jane. from Dublin. Thanks, Emma. Thank you. See you soon. So we're going to take